Ah, uh, yes. Social Security, pensions, and Medicare. They have pensions for all. Medicare for all! Uh, continue on. The right to secure and, dig uh, and dignified retirement is one of the bedrocks of principles of American life. It's kind of weird how we just, like, accepted that, like, oh, just work for, like, until the age of 65, and then you can have a life of leisure. How about a, a life of leisure from the word go? And those that choose to work and, like, work. But no, if no one wants to. But no, if no one wants to create the option for the worker leisure because like uh, idle hands at devil's playground. It will encourage too much like bad behavior. I'll encourage too much delinquency or laziness. Anyway, uh, the uh, before Social Security, almost half American seniors lived in poverty. Even those who like spent a lifetime working didn't always have like enough like to put food on the table or uh, health care to uh, they could count on. Democrats changed that in uh, 1935. We passed Social Security in, in 1965. We signed Med in 1965. We signed Medicare and Medicaid into law. There are more our government programs. There's a promise that we made it as a as a country that our lifetime of hard work, people deserve to retire with dignity and security. They made tens of millions of lives better. Let me also like mention this and like yes, social security. The idea of social security was never a thing until like 1935, as part of like Franklin Delta Roosevelt's like New Deal, which wasn't for only white people. We just gotta remember that white able-bodied people. Let's remember that as well too. White people and able-bodied people. Um, and the only reason that Flanco Dardor Roosevelt created the New Deal is that, like, he knew that, like, hey, the communist and socialist is on the rise. Look what happened in Russia in 1917, the October Revolution. Um, they successfully overthrew the Tsars. And, like, uh, they get rid of, like, capitalism in their way. Uh, they argue that, like, the USSR became state capitalism as well, too. Um, so another form of capitalism. And, like, there was a strong, like, presence of the left, uh, of socialists and communists, uh, in the 1910s and 20s and 30s. So, FDR created the New Deal, which also included, like, the passing of Social Security, as well as the uh, minimum wage. They never had a minimum wage before then. And that was to stop from a October Revolution happening in the Americas. It was a deal. It was a deal that like uh, FDR that did with like the uh, economic elites at the time. Many of them did like half them is like okay yeah we'll do that we'll like go agree with like social democracy basically um, with the New Deal and take and take less money in by paying more in taxes. As in order to prevent from like the left rising up and like overthrowing the government, but other half of the, the those like uh, multimillionaires and the CEOs at that time and the super rich at that time didn't like that idea, including like uh, uh, David Koch. Is it David Koch? Uh, the father of the Koch brothers. Oh, it's actually one Koch brother. There's only one because the other one died. It was David Koch that died. Frank Koch was the father. I forgot. I just listened to like those behind the bastards on like the Coke brothers like not that long ago as well too. So Frank Coke was part of the like uh multi millionaires that like, no no, we're not doing this New Deal thing, we're not gonna pay more in taxes, no no no. And they were part of like the business plot. A plot to try to like basically do a soft coup at the like United States of America, uh, and have like this like um military general oh, i forgot his name he's cool and awesome actually i had to be like the uh, president pro tem of their president interim president and while they just like institute like all their like pretty much like fascists or like and or like super capitalist like uh france policies they hit the fdr because he was like too communist for them too even though fdr said that like his greatest achievement was the a new deal that saved capitalism so fdr was not a communist but like Giving any sort of money to like the undesirables is like communism to like the super rich as well too, like Frank Koch, the father of the Koch brothers. Um, German Buckley, it's like Buckley's the name of the general, who is like, dudes, you don't understand that like FDR friends we go way back, and you expect me to just like you know what, 
turn uh, over the country to you guys and like uh, put me in charge of the public? I'm not going to turn my back on FDR. No, screw that. So then German Buckley informed of FDR the business plot, and that stopped that stopped the soft coup from happening. So it never happened. None of those people that like uh, planned the business plot and wanted to overthrow the USA government to put in a military dictatorship spend a any moment, any time in jail they legitimately committed treason or acts of treason or, or planned to do treason and got away with it they weren't successful but got away with it ah if you're rich enough you can get rid of crimes even attempted to overthrow the government. Anyway, two kind of people that want to like just like are rich enough to like get rid of it to like um to get uh, rid of crimes, uh to just like do a whole bunch of crimes. Trump and his mega allies are shredding the like that sacred trust and saying that they'll cut social security to give billionaires another tax cut. I again, I don't think that like, Trump will actually do that. He'll say he will do that, but I don't think he'll actually do that because he benefits social security. But anyway, continue on. Trump has like called social security a Ponzi scheme and warm. Well, Trump says a lot of things. And and said and there's a lot that you can do in terms of cutting. As president, he tried to like slash both Social Security and Medicare programs in in every budget, and then got like Medicaid, which provides health care, the home care to like over seven million seniors and people with disabilities. House Republicans have vowed to like cut Social Security by over one point five trillion to raise the retirement age and transform Medicare into like voucher system like system, threatening the program. Trump will also like eliminate protections for private retirement savings and by undermining the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and by making it easier for banks to rip off the seniors with uh, expensive hidden fees. Democrats won't let that happen. Generations of Americans have like paid into like the government's programs with every paycheck of their lives. As we will never back down um, from our ironclad committed to protecting uh, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. They never back down, never give up. Uh, continue on. We reject. Uh, we reject any effort to like privatize Social Security or to cut any benefit that American people have uh, earned. Middle class Americans pay 6.2 percent of their income to support Social Security, and the self-employed they pay twice that. I mean, I'm open to like an argument of like why should the self-employed have to pay twice that? Honestly, or work out the deal that they don't have to, so that like it doesn't. You're not so punished for being self-employed. I kind of open to that as well too, but I understand like how like by if there's any loopholes and something like that, people would be like able to weaponize that. But it's still kind of like a terrible for like self-employed people just just pay like extra taxes for being self-employed. I understand that's like a the I understand that businesses should be like a lot of high taxes as well too. But I wonder if like self-employed people should have to pay those like high taxes as well. I could do on. Um, but people with multi-million dollar incomes they pay a fraction of one percent um we'll strengthen the program and and expand benefits by asking the wealthiest like uh the americans to pay their fair share you're just asking them you're just asking them to pay their fair share you're just asking nicely for them to pay their share. don't force them to pay their fair share because it, like even if you ask them nicely they won't do it you really do Again, the Democrats believe in benevolent dictators because they want to be the benevolent dictators. Continue on. We also impose any actions to like uh, cut Medicare uh, benefits. We are looking to like expand the Medicare coverage and include dental provision and like hearing services, uh, which are also uh, are so key to like health and quality of life. Um, by making the wealthy and big corporations pay their fair share. The fact is that like uh, both Social Security and Medicare are in a stronger financial position today uh, than when like a President Biden took the office. Our a strong economic recovery has like uh, helped to like, uh, extend the like, Medicare solvency by a decade, and the and the president and uh, president's prescription drug reforms will save uh, hundreds of billions of dollars uh, by finally empowering Medicare to directly negotiate lower prices with uh, drug companies and to collect rebates if big farmer hacks. Yeah, hikes uh, prices faster than the inflation. And if Republicans repeal all reforms, they will raise those like savings and put Medicare itself at risk. Democrats will make Medicare permanent solvent by making wealthy pay for their fair share in Medicare taxes. You 
If Kamala Harris was in favor of Medicare for all in 2019, she's not now. This is what's so frustrating to talk about Medicare. Because, like, she was for a more progressive policy, but she doesn't have to be for a very progressive policy now. So, she doesn't, like, talk about it. And... And it's like I have like, the issue with the rebate sort of thing too, because it basically means that like you still have to pay for the tax hikes or hike prices up front, but then get the money back later on. What if you can't afford the like uh, money up front? Uh, continue on. Dem Democrats will like stand firm to protect retirement uh, security across the board. In twenty in twenty twenty one, we passed the Butch Lewis Act, pre preserving the pension for uh, three million uh, union workers and retirees who have like seen deep cuts, and reversing pension cuts for over a uh, hundred thousand like workers. Going forward, we will amend federal bankruptcy laws and make sure no other retirees ever have run that same risk. Administration is also cracking down on junk fees and retirement savings and like reverse a Trump era rule that like allowed financial advisors to put their own interests uh, before their clients. Democrats will want to make it easier for everyone to save for retirement and uh, for retirement and retire with dignity. Why can't that be available for everyone? Why never that why do we have to like work so often in order to get the like retirement and retire with dignity and the life of leisure? Why can't we just have that that the work go and then like choose to work we like want to or not?